as I've talked with many of you, I've noticed that many of you could really benefit the world if you just showed up more with your message and with your presence. And yet, what might be keeping you from showing up regularly, maybe you don't know this or maybe it's clear to you, it's the fear of judgment. It's feeling blocked from your authentic expression because you are afraid of the, the one watching from the other side, the person reading from the other side. And well, of course, that's not gonna help you to show up consistently, is it? Well, one technique that I use myself and have recommended to many clients is to create your content for one caring person only with them in your mind and in your heart. So before you begin recording your video or begin writing your blog post or begin uh, recording your podcast or whatnot, first bring to mind and heart somebody that you feel so comfortable with that you feel provides you this kind of loving supportive encouragement and also somebody who is really eager to hear what you have to say on this topic on um, whatever topic you are creating about or to eager to read what you have to say and and there's nothing that can come out of you that is a mistake for them. Everything that comes out of you is uh, a quirk that they enjoy uh, or some bit of your presence that is healing for them or uh, is, is enjoyable to them. So is there someone like that in your mind, in your heart? Maybe it's somebody that you already know. Maybe it's a client that you just love working with past client could be, or it could be a close friend who's just very open to your ideas. And uh, no matter how you're feeling in any given day, they're, they're very accepting of you and welcoming of you to share whatever's on your mind at whatever pace you want to share it. Maybe you're lucky to have had a family member living or, or past who is, who is or was like that. Or if you don't, well, make someone up in your mind. You know, um, there is a concept in spirituality called the beloved. The beloved. Some of you may know this well and others may have never heard of it. But it's a way of relating to, to God or to the divine in a very intimate and devotional way that you almost see the entirety of creation and reality as the emanation from your beloved. And you are simply going through life relating to that beloved one. And, um, you know, I, to be honest, I, even though I'm not an expert in this topic, um, I feel like I have essentially uh, been doing that in my content for years. At first, I did begin with a particular client in mind who was very accepting and always eager to hear what I've got to say. And, uh, you know, there's nothing I can do that's, that's wrong in their eyes almost. Of course, that's not true for any human being. There's, I can always make mistakes. But eventually, that, that person or that being I'm speaking to in my mind did evolve into uh, a point of loving awareness that is always with me, is always available to listen and to encourage me to express my authenticity, uh, who is very open for me to explore uh, and experiment with however I, I am today. Um, and it doesn't matter what mistakes I make, it doesn't matter how many ums and ahs I say, this loving awareness uh, knows me intimately and yet is also um, really uh, excited about the potential that I could become. That that is 
unlimited and therefore unknown. And the beloved and I are both kind of looking toward that potential uh, in growth and in harmony and in um, creativity and connection. And so essentially, I feel that uh, over the years, as I've learned to first start with a very loving, supportive, encouraging client, you know, as the person I'm speaking to in the camera lens right now, and then it's kind of evolved more and more as I've gotten more of the supportive clients over the years, they kind of all melded together into the beloved, into this kind of point of loving awareness, consciousness that is there right there in the camera lens that I'm speaking to. And also that I, that I write to when I'm writing. And so this is my encouragement to you to, to practice this. Because if you don't practice this, what, what's natural to happen is when you turn on the camera or when you put pen to paper, you probably have someone else on the other side in mind. Sometimes you don't even realize that you're thinking of a judgmental family member or family members. You're like, oh, I hope so-and-so doesn't see this. Some of you are consciously aware of that. And like either you have a conflict about social media because you don't want to post things because this in-law or that family member will, will, will see it. And, you know, it's, you know, you don't want to express your authentic self and all that. And, you know, I just think that's, that's really a, a, that's, that's really too bad because if, if certain people are judging you for expressing what you believe, I mean, you, you express yourself authentically not just to, you know, somehow annoy them or to uh, say something that they disagree with. No, you, 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 you are sharing because you believe it's going to be helpful for your ideal client, right? It, you, you're, you're creating content, not just for yourself, but you're creating content in service to the world. And it just so happens that these three family members or whatever uh, will, will think of it as weird or say you shouldn't be you know, expressing yourself like that way or saying these kinds of things that, you know, that we don't believe in as a family or, or whatever, you know. And um, it's like, are you going to allow your authentic expression, your authentic business uh, to hang on the balance of the opinions of these three people or, or whatever it may be? That's really such a shame. And um, I mean, I, I certainly have had family members and friends and old classmates or whatever who, who knew me from a long time ago, that if I were if I were to bring them to mind, I would be embarrassed to be showing up like this. Uh, you say, George, what, how are you showing up? There's, I'm showing up in a way that they've never seen before. I'm showing up as a, as a kind of George Cow that is confident because I used to be really shy and I used to be uh, quiet. Uh, and unable, unable to speak, actually, not, you know, publicly, certainly unable to speak, but even in conversations within groups of people, I'm, I was very quiet and shy. And so this that they're looking at right now, this version of George Cow is completely different than the one they knew uh, years ago. And if I brought them to mind and kept them in mind, of course, I would not be doing this. But, I, but that's, that's completely is a damper on the development of my real calling. It is a unnecessary block to me on my, my path of potential. And so long ago, I've set them aside and I basically more or less stopped talking to them. I know that's not possible for some of you with family members, but long ago, I've set them aside. And even if I see them at family reunions, whatever, I set them aside uh, in my mind and say, yeah, they can think I'm weird or they can think I'm different now uh, when I'm when, when they see me. And some of the videos I make are probably embarrassing to my family or my friends or whatever. Um, but you know what? The time, most of my authentic business is going to be spent with my ideal clients. And most of my working day, most of my day is spent working. And most of my working is done with you know, my ideal clients. So it's like, why am I letting a couple of people, you know, block me from fulfilling the potential that I have for enjoying 
the, the majority of my life. I won't do that. I won't do that. And so I set them aside and said, I've, I practice, 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 bringing, bringing to mind and heart. And it is a visualization practice. It is a practice of, um, and, and really so much of success. You know, if you want to succeed, right? So much of that path is managing of your mind, of course, and managing of the heart, right? And so this, again, yet again, is a practice of creating the conditions within your mind and your heart that is conducive to your most powerful and truthful expression. And that's what I want for you. And so this is the practice again, bring to mind and heart, the image, the energy of one who is in completely accepting of you. You can make no mistake in their eyes. You can speak at the pace that you wish to. You can make you can change your mind in mid-sentence if you want to. The person is completely eager and accepting of whatever you're going to create, whatever your art or your message is. That practice itself is incredibly valuable for becoming a powerful creator, becoming basically fulfilling your potential as the most creative being that you can be. Now. Some others might, and I'm thinking of a particular uh, client in mind who I would say, oh, I would, I, would, I would just so love if they could show up on video more often, but their block is they don't know who's going to be watching. They, they don't even maybe think of a particular family member or old you know, judgmental person or whatever, but it's almost like they're staring into the abyss and they have no idea who's going to be looking at it and um, now or in the future. And of course, that kind of rehearsal of mind is, once again, a, a scary thing. I, if I start thinking of the abyss and the future judgmental people who might be there, uh, I, would never, I would never again show up online. Again, the path of success is so much about how you manage this in between your ears, how you manage your mind, how you manage your heart, how you manage your, how you practice and manage your connection with your divine source. So don't just say, I can't show up consistently because I have these fears. I have these intimidations. I have these anxieties about this kind of person or someone that I know or somebody, somebody who could uh, be, be uh, mean or judgmental or uh, who, who, who could even be hurt by something I said, even though I didn't mean to say it uh, in a way that hurt them, whatever it may be. That that this, these kinds of rehearsals are 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 keeping you back from much greater levels of happiness and of creative creative power essentially, and so again, that is not a good excuse to say I'm 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 afraid I'm. That's why well, I should say that is an excuse. That is simply an excuse because your opportunity is to rehearse something different is to practice something different. Like I said, I didn't start out this way. I started out very shy and intimidated and I had to keep practicing, keep practicing, keep practicing visualizing the right kind of person before I was able to show up, you know, not be shaking and completely embarrassed uh, before the video, during the video and after the video. Uh, and after many, many times of practicing, you know, dozens of times of practicing and showing up, practicing and showing up, it started to being a bit more normal. And of course, after a few more hundred times of practicing and showing up, now it's very natural. Now, when I look at the camera lens, it is the, it is the welcoming gaze of the beloved who is eager to see my potential increasingly blossom and be revealed. Uh, in the world. I wish that for you so much because your ideal client, the, the integration of all of your ideal clients is like the beloved and they're waiting for you, for you to finally be willing to practice consistently showing up with, with what is your energy signature to practice 
what is your most truthful and heartfelt and most um, alive way of being in the world in service to the world? They are waiting for you. And they, I have said this in other places, it's like this um, soulful game of hide and seek that we started playing before we joined this earth, uh, use this as a metaphor. We all were so loving and one that we were not as individuated as we would like to be. So we came here and said, let's play hide and seek. We're all going to incarnate in different places, sometimes in different times. But then we all are waiting for you to practice your energy signature, to practice expressing yourself. Um, and with the internet, now you can reach us. And the more you can practice expressing yourself and trying out uh, the expression of, of your energy signature, and the more powerful it becomes, the more we are able to hear and see it, that ping into the universe uh, for here I am, here I am, soulmates. So I wish for you a consistent and continual showing up in dedication to the beloved. Because your beloved is waiting for you and is eager to join you on, on this great adventure of you coming into the greatest possible version of your creativity, of your business, and of your life. So with that, get going. Get rehearsing that visualization before you create and make sure you give yourself the consistent time to practice. I'll say one more thing and I'll end this video. I, I, um, I need to keep reminding you that whenever I begin these videos, I make these videos live, I don't feel like starting the video. In fact, today, as of right now, in fact, I am still recovering from a major illness I've had over the past uh, week or so. Um, I've never had it this bad with, with a stomach uh, with a stomach bug. And um, I was feeling low energy today. I didn't, I was, you know, was feeling very, I, I wasn't able to do some of the things that I, I plan to do today. But I said, I'm going to show up for the video. I'm going to show up because I, I committed to doing this every Friday. And no matter how low my energy, you can tell my voice is lower than, than usual. I'm not gesticulating as much as I usually am. I'm going to show up because I promised you all that I would. I mostly promised myself that I would. And if I don't show up, um, uh, you know, there is never a good time to do it. I've never had perfect energy. I've never had, I've never thought through my ideas long enough before I start the video. Never, never. I can always think it through way much more. But because I have this relationship with the beloved in the camera lens, it encouraged just me to show up just as I am from the heart of service that I can muster today, from the dedication to my creative fitness that I can muster today. And by doing so, this time spent with that beloved is invigorating, is healing, actually. And now, after this video, I am more encouraged to go and do some of the other work that I had put off earlier today because I had to take extra naps due to my energy level. So I hope this is helpful. Thank you for joining me on this journey. I wish you a consistent uh, practice. I was going to say willingness to show up, but really, it's just a consistent dedication to practice, rehearsing, creating the conditions that are conducive to your consistent creativity. I wish you well, and thank you so much for joining me here.